once you are labeled a survivor, most people around you, they just have no idea that you're still struggling. And don't get me wrong, you know, we are so grateful that we survived, but surviving is not thriving. And that's our core mission, to empower you to love yourself and know you are stronger and more beautiful than ever before. We see you, we understand, and we are here to help. Kathy has such beautiful, beautiful skin. She has this gorgeous face of freckles, which I love. I would never try to cover freckles. I think they're absolutely youthful and fun and beautiful. And, and looking at her and with her beautiful, you know, thick hair and just this, this whole overall appearance, it really kind of reminded me of the 60s and 70s genre. So we're going to go for kind of a, a Twiggy-esque inspiration. And then we're going to move into something a little more 70s, which is a little more free-flowing and a little looser. But we're going to keep everything very clean with little pops and accents from the 60s and 70s to kind of just bring it to life in a really modern way. My name is Kathy. I was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer when my son was 8 months old. I was almost good for two years and then it returned. I made its way back. My treatment now is lifelong. I take Bresenio, which is my second treatment. I started with my first line defense that failed almost two years after taking it. So I've been living with stage four for a little over two years now. The first time around, I had a double mastectomy. I'm a confident person, but it shot down a lot of things, everything about it, going to a beach. Like I just, it was very hard to find something and become something that you've never been before. I had to wait a year to consider reconstruction, which I did begin to think about that, but then my cancer came back and that was no longer important to me anymore. I, it was more, how do I live with this? Having boobs, I guess, isn't important now. But still, it would make life easier. Recently, because I'll be going somewhere in August, I've been looking for bathing suits, and I just don't want to spend money on a horrendous looking bathing suit top just to put my, I call them chicken cutlets, my prosthetics to put them in. I will find a bathing suit and try to do my best by altering it. and but, Goodness, there's just ugly things out there. You know, these things are just not cute. There's no Victoria's Secret anymore. <laughs> People don't understand stage four and they think, oh, when are you done with your treatment? And that's like a common question. And you look good, you have hair. I'm like, well, because <laughs> it has become quality of life. When you're in your stage one, two or three, you know, they attack things aggressively because you have a chance to be cured. When you're stage four, you are living with something and they try to make you comfortable and extend your life as long as possible because it's irreversible. What is stage four to me? It is a life sentence. I'm always wondering when is my time going to come? Uh, I don't, I don't want to think about it. I do, I'm a realist. I know what this disease is going to do to me. Um, at the same time, I have faith, I have hope. I look at my son and like, he makes me get up every morning and the reason why I'm living, I wanna grow old with my husband and I wanna see my child grow up. I wanna see him graduate. And what this disease has done to me, it's almost made me a better person. I, I, I almost sounds weird describing it, but I've grown in my faith. I've allowed more love in. I've done a lot of things that I would have never done before. And it's just opened my eyes up to the world and what life is really about and it's to enjoy life. Don't sweat the small stuff. I look at life completely differently. The smallest things, seeing the sunrise is huge. Something I didn't think about before. Life is beautiful and I'm living, so. 
that's where I'm at. I'm happy, I'm terminal, but I'm happy because I'm here still to tell you that I'm here. <laughs> So part of the process is finding a space that creates like inspiration and motivation for our subjects. And I think this space is going to be perfect. Something that was hidden inside me, um, feelings of, well, if we want to get personal, my sexuality, really. Like, uh, I was just, I was hiding in my laughter, even though laughter is a good thing, but my sexiness did not exist. And it's been suppressed pretty much with the whole cancer diagnosis. It just, uh, I was changed forever and it was just suppressed. Like it was easier not to deal with it. And it has surfaced today and I feel great about that. And you ladies are amazing in bringing that out with this experience with taking these photos and everything, it just makes me feel really good. I'm just so happy. I'm just <laughs> ecstatic that I can express myself better instead of just keeping things behind closed doors. It's very freeing getting in touch with myself and it's just, it's very, hell, I, <laughs> I want to shout on a rooftop. Thank you for including me in Beautiful Self. This was just a beautiful experience. So we're just wrapping up. We're cleaning up from Kathy's shoot and oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. We got a lot out of this. We did, it was a big spiritual exchange, you know, um, and I think that's one of the beautiful things about this whole project is that we do get that spiritual exchange with a survivor. And she is a an amazing example of why, exactly we, why we fight, you know, to continue to do what we do to keep this tribe going. So today was exactly why we exist. Today was amazing. Yeah. When I was first introduced to Beautiful Self, this through my friend Don, and I kind of yesed her in the beginning. I'm like, yeah, I will take a look at it. But when she, did you take a look? And when I did, I was pretty amazed at what kind of passion you have in your work to make women like me who are living with cancer or survivors of breast cancer, how you make these ladies feel is just so valuable and important. I suppressed a lot of feelings of me feeling beautiful, sexy. I think that didn't even exist because of what cancer has robbed from me. Um, but the day of my session, I laughed all day. Every time you brought that sexy out, I would have this little smirk and cover my mouth and just grin. And I was just amazed at, hey, that's me. You made me feel so beautiful and I am so appreciative and thankful and I'm just blessed that I've met you ladies. Jillian and Michelle, you just do amazing work. And I am so thankful that I'm now a part of a tribe and that's beautiful self. Thank you and I love you all, thank you.